Good evening and welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. Fans had the opportunity to meet the Mississippi State women's basketball team this evening at Maroon Madness. An relaxed and fun environment. But if you're looking to see the reigning national runner-up in a more competitive environment, October 25th will be that chance. The Lady Bulldogs have announced that they'll host their annual Maroon White scrimmage at Humphrey Coliseum in less than two weeks in an event that will begin at 6 p.m. The Bulldogs return nine players from last year's team that set a school record for wins with 13 and conference wins with 13. The event is free, open to the public. MSU opens the regular season November 10th at home against Virginia. The Ole Miss men's and women's cross country teams will face an important test on Saturday at the pre-national invitational in Louisville. After running well at Oklahoma State a couple of weeks ago, the 12th ranked women will compete in a stacked lineup in the red seated 6K race that includes 4th ranked Michigan, 9th ranked Arkansas and 19th ranked Utah State as well as Mississippi State. The 24th ranked Rebel men will go toe to toe with 19th ranked Georgetown and SEC rivals MSU and Georgia. The meet starts with the men's race at 9 a.m. followed by the women's race at 945. Well, it's always a big deal whenever Jones County meets Pearl River in any event, but this weekend's game on the gridiron takes even more importance with playoff positioning on the line. Pearl River got the best of the Bobcats on homecoming, and that was last year. The Cats are going to try to return the favor on the road tomorrow. Pearl River comes into play with a 3-3 three and three record, but they played better than their record would indicate. 14th ranked Bobcats 5-1, and 3-0 and oh in the MACJC South Division. Saturday's game could come down to who wins that turnover battle. Jones County plus six in the turnover department this year. They've scored five touchdowns on defense, which ranks third in the nation. Saturday's game from Poplarville kicks off at 1 p.m. Can be seen live on the Jones County Junior College official Facebook page. The New Orleans Saints are coming off an early season bye week, and after dropping the first two games of the season, Saints have won two in a row. The offense, it continues to put up, put up, put up big numbers, and the defense is starting to get some stops, and Drew Brees says the Saints are on the rise. We always have a lot to prove. We certainly have a lot to prove right now, being that uh, I think that we've turned the corner you know, this year, um, kind of done with the first quarter of our season, you know, two and two, but we, we've won the last two. I feel like we're... We're an ascending team who's continuing to play better, but um, this will be a great test for us because I think that the Lions are a very good football team. Saints will see just how good the Lions are Sunday at noon. Now it is Friday the 13th, and sometimes odd things can happen on this most unlucky day, but there was nothing surprising or unusual at all about the U.S. men's national soccer team manager, Bruce Arena, resigning from his position. Arena announced his resignation today after the United States failed to qualify for the World Cup for the first time since 1986. Arena was brought back to the national team last November after the team had already lost its first two World Cup qualifying matches. He went on to compile a decent 10-2-6 record over the next 10 months. However, three of those wins and both losses came in World Cup qualifiers. As for U.S. Soccer President Sunil Gulati, he said today that he will not be stepping down at this time, but has not decided whether he will run again for presidency of U.S. soccer next year. And I mm. don't believe I said it live on air, but I think yesterday I said when we were on a break that this has got to mark the end for, for Bruce Arena in less than 24 hours. Yeah. I'm not going to take that much credit. It's I mean, not, you, you, you not knew that. Surprising, that. Yeah, yeah, not surprising. But, yep, you certainly called it. Wow. Yeah, change needs to be made, it sounds like there. Yeah, and it's going to take a long time. They just need to clean house, rebuild. Get some fresh blood yeah. and new and, ideas, new thoughts. And it, and it could take 10, 12 years the way soccer works, right. but that's what they have to do if they want to mm -hmm. compete. Change the program. All right, thanks.